I'm Aubrey. About a year ago, Nick, my husband, and I decided that we wanted to start a family. At the time, been married about three years, and it was just seemed natural time. I've always wanted children. Three months in, nothing's happening. I'm like, hmm, this little voice is creeping up. Something's not right. Time keeps going by, and I'm feeling not good, um, and I can just tell something's not right. I get recommended a doctor who apparently specializes a little bit more in these problems, and he looks at me and he says, well, one thing's for sure, kiddo, you're not ovulating. And it's frustrating because part of me feels like this should be easy, God. Why didn't you make this easy for me? I don't know what's going to happen, and that's really hard for me um, with my anxiety. And there are those days where that voice creeps up that says, maybe you're not meant to be a mom. Maybe you wouldn't be good at it. But that's not true. And um, God reminds me of who he is. I can try to write my own story, and it's never going to be as good as the story God writes for me. I had this dream one night where we were leading worship somewhere for something and Aubrey was leading this song. And I remember thinking in, in my dream, like, this is a cool song. We should, we should do this song for church. So I woke up and I immediately started Googling, trying to find the lyrics of the song and realized that it wasn't a song. I had just baited up in my dreams. And I just quickly made a voice memo, jotted down as much of it as I could remember. In my coming and my going in the fire and in the flood called Aubrey and Jeff to get together to see if we could kind of finish writing this song. I listened, we had sort of a rough idea of what it sounded like and you had some words. The song is all about God being good all the time, even when it doesn't feel like it. And we got to the third verse and I asked Aubrey if she would kind of write from the perspective of what she's been going through. When I feel like, like you let me down. Something like that. Yes. I kind of just wrote how I'd been feeling. You know, you lift my feet and carry me to the places I can't see. And that's really true. I, I wasn't sure I couldn't see the other side. I'm still getting glimpses of the other side. But God brings you there. Even when you're disappointed and you're upset, it's okay to say, I don't see it right now, but I trust you. Um, just remind me. I had a lot of Sundays of singing with tears filled eyes, worshiping and just like, just telling God, God, I, I'm sad, you know I'm sad. So I'm just working through it with him. He's using those times to stretch us and to really help us to learn how to go through those things, how to have those emotions, and that it's okay. When I'm angry, disappointed, and I feel like you've let me down, you lift my feet and carry me to the places I can't see Hallelujah You never stop loving me Cause you are good You are good All the time We, about a year ago Almost exactly a year ago We were filming our Easter service for last year And it was pretty cool It was the first time we would got to play music together as a band In almost a year We COVID tested and got to play maskless all in a room together. It was neat to like go into it and to worship together and to like have that joy. Like I think all of us had a really good time that night because it had been a while since we got to. And it was the first time 
we played that song at all. In my company, There's just something about that night. The band, when they were playing, it just felt like God's presence was uh, just so present in the room. It was such, such a special, special night I'll never forget. And uh, all the while, Aubrey knew something that we didn't know. We were leaving after packing up, and she turned around and said, hey, before we go, I have something I need to show you guys. And she pulled out an ultrasound. To see God's promise come into fruition and just to be able to praise him, you know? Like, oh, I get to like thank you and be like excited when I sing this song and have this joy that you gave me. The whole timeline is four years and four months that it took for me to get pregnant. It still blows my mind that there is really a baby in here. It's sort of like, this is what you prayed for. <laughs> get ready. Sometimes I feel like it's not real. She's doing great. She's got a spunky little personality. And we just feel like she is the joy of our lives. She's a really, really fun baby. You are good all the time. You are good. It doesn't always feel like it, but he is. There are certain things that may not come to fruition until the very end. Maybe you don't get healing until heaven. And I really struggle with that. You're praying the same thing over and over again. You're seeing people um, come out of their desert season and you're still feeling stuck. Let people know. Sharing my sorrow and having people share in that meant everyone sharing in that joy. God sees you where you're at. He knows your heart and he's kind and he's gentle. He wants good things for us. And it's so easy to get caught up in like what you think is best for yourself. It's like I said, you can try to write your own story, but it's, it's never gonna be as good as what God writes for you. And I'm living that now. When you're in this crazy sleep deprivation and you're doing whatever you can to get your baby to go back to sleep, I would just be rocking and singing that to her and thinking, I remember when we were writing this and telling God, like, when I'm angry, when I'm disappointed, I feel like you've let me down. You lifted me. You carried me. Here we are. Hallelujah. You never stop loving me. And it's true. It's true. I could never in my wildest dreams imagine it better. Like, God is so good. Yeah. <laughs>